it's Asia Lachelle and I am back here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you upload your banners um, to your Shopify store. Now, I am starting out inside of Canva because that's where I know a lot of people are building their banners. They're building them inside of uh, Canva. If you are interested in this particular banner uh, that you see here, this banner set, it is available on my sh uh, shop. You can just click the link in the bio if you want to gain access to it. It's very easy to edit and um, you can really uh, make your site look cute or updated or whatnot using this template. Anyway, so let's say we've gone ahead, we've modified our template and um, we are going to use it on our store. So what you would do is just go to download. Let's just say I just want to do, um, I'm just going to go ahead and download both. But let's say you only wanted to do one. You can come in here, you can uncheck this and just select the page you want to do, uh, download and click done. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and download both. So I'll hit download. Okay, so then it's going to go ahead and save it. Um, save. And as you can see here, it has saved it to my downloads as a zip file. So being that it's saved as a zip, I'm using a Mac. I'm going to double click and then it's going to unzip the file. And now those pictures are inside of this folder. Okay. So that's what will happen with Canva. If you download more than one picture at a time, it will automatically put those pictures into a zip file. OK, so you'll need to be able to unzip the file before you can use them. OK, next you need to come into Shopify. So when you first come into Shopify, this is your home page. You'll click on online store and it's going to bring you into the themes page. So whatever theme you are editing, I don't want to change this particular theme, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to customize this venture theme that I've added to the store. So just click on customize whatever theme you have loaded and you want to customize, just click on customize. So I want to add this banner to this slideshow. So I'm going to click on slideshow. I'm going to click on the first slide and I'm going to select the image and I've already had one of them already uploaded here, but what you would do is just click on upload, double click, and then I'm going to upload both of them. So I'm going to do select all to select both of these images and then upload. So now I'm uploading both of these banners to the store. Now I want to select this one first. I want this to be the first banner that shows. So I'm going to select that. And I don't need the text here where it says slide, right? I really don't want any or much additional text on here. So I'm going to just delete the heading. You don't have to use the text that's there. And you see that disappears, right? Okay, so we have that. And then what I want the um, button to say is just shop now. And then I'm going to link the button. Uh, banner to wherever I want it to go. Now you can choose not to link your banner to anything and just leave it like this to where they're moving back and forth and they're not clickable. But if you want people to go, let's say to a collection and I want people to, let's say, go to all of my collections, right? That's where I'm going to point it to. So now you have that shop now button that has popped up. Okay. And people can now, this banner has become clickable. Now, let me come back in here. Now you can choose to just have once this one banner. Okay. If you want just this one banner, you would come to the second slide and click remove block. Okay. And then it would just get rid of it. You see what I'm saying? And now you just have this one banner sitting at the top. You can choose to do that. Or if you want to add another slide to your slideshow, Come in here, select the image. We're going to do, let's say, this image. Okay. Selected this one. Do the same thing. I'm going to remove the slide header here. I don't need that. And in this instance, I don't really need this banner to go anywhere because I'm just telling people to follow me on social. Right. So I don't need this to be clickable. So I'm not going to add a button here. So there we go. We're done. So we have our two slides here. 
Now, one of the things that is happening is that part of this slide is being cut off because if you look here, like some of this design is being cut off. And the main thing to look for is the slide height. So right now it's at the small. What you wanna change it to is adapt to first image. Every theme is slightly different as far as like what the options are, but the main thing to look for is the slide height and make sure it is set to adapt to first image. And that way all of my image is visible now, okay? And that is the case for the second image on the slideshow as well. You get what I'm saying now? So there we go. And then on this particular theme, it gives me the option to auto rotate my slides out and I can choose how frequently these slides change. I can go down to like three seconds and so it's rotating every three seconds or I can increase it to seven seconds or you can leave it at the default of five. That's up to you. Okay, and so once I have that done, I can save it. I also always encourage people to look at what their banners look like on mobile because how your banners look on mobile is more important than anything because most people are going to come on your website and they're going to be looking at it from their phone. So especially like, let's say you're advertising on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatever platform, Twitter, well, guess what? You're, they're on their app. Most people are not on Instagram or Facebook from their computer. They're on those apps from their phone. So it's important that you know what your site is going to look like from mobile. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. So that is how you upload your banners from Canva or wherever to Shopify. One more thing to note because I have this set to adapt to first image, it's important that all of your banners are the same dimensions, right? So you don't wanna have one banner on one size and another banner another size, because let me show you what will happen. Let's say instead of this second banner, I choose to change it to something else. So let's change image. And let's say I chose this picture. This is a square photo, okay? So if I select that, do you see what happens here? It makes that square photo fit to the first image because what did we tell it to do? We told it to adapt to first image. And let's say we change the order of the banners. Watch this. The first banner is now a square, okay? And if we go to the second image, now it has cut the second image off to fit whatever this first image is. So understand that. So in order to make sure that all of your banners are visible, they need to be the same dimensions, okay? And then to make sure that your banners are not being cut off, you need to adapt the first image. So just make sure that you're using banners that have the same exact dimensions so you don't have this problem. You get what I'm saying? So however you want your dimensions to be. Now, if you're looking here like this mobile view, Square banners might be a better option for you than the wide length banners. Now, but here's the thing, look at how it looks on desktop. Square banners don't necessarily look great on desktop. So you have to kind of come up with a happy medium that looks good on both. And from what I have found personally, I like the 2000 by 1000 pixel height um, for banners because they look good on mobile and they look good on desktop so they're big enough for mobile to where the banners are not super thin and you can't see them right but they also look really good on the desktop view I, fe I feel like this size looks good for both okay so that is pretty much how you do it this is the process to do it every single theme that you use will function slightly differently but this is the process to upload those banners onto your store. And the reason why I'm saying everything functions slightly differently, for example, this is the Venture theme that I'm using, which is a free, a free theme, but Venture works slightly different than the debut theme or the Boundless theme. They all work slightly different. And so certain things like, for example, on the debut theme and on the Boundless theme, 
the buttons, for example, on the um, boundless theme are sitting right here in the middle of the picture. Same thing with uh, the uh, debut theme. That shop button is gonna be sitting here right in the center. That's why for me personally, I like to use the venture theme for people who are using free themes because the button doesn't sit in the middle of your photo. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you are interested, once again, in this particular um, banner set, um, you can um, click the link in the description below and I will have a link to this set. These sets are very versatile, easily editable. You can easily come in here in Canva and you can um, swap out these pictures so quickly for your own store. So like, let's say I had a plus size store and I wanted to use these slots for my models here. You just come in here and then boom. Like it, you see how quickly I'm dragging and dropping these pictures into these slots like you can update your store so fast with this let's say you didn't want to use pink maybe you wanted to use like a neon green right you can click the color and guess what it'll change all of them that fast to a neon green and you come in here and you can just change this block to that same color and then boom, you have literally updated and changed this banner to fit whatever you want to have going on. They are very, very easy to edit. The text, you can come in here and be like, I don't want it to be 30%, I'm just doing 10% off. Um, you can say off of all, let's say off of all, all dresses, right? Cause that's what I just used off of all um all dresses you can just come in here and do whatever you want and then use the code dressy 21 whatever you want to do right you can change any of this all of this is editable you can move stuff around you don't have to have it placed there like it's up to you this is transparency so you can even change the transparency. Let's say you want it to be a little bit more visible. You can lighten it up. You understand what I'm saying? Like you can you can change the transparency so that the pictures are a bit more visible. You see what I'm saying? So this is totally up to you. The level of customization is crazy. So you can do whatever you like. But you saw how fast I just swapped that out. Like that was so easy. So you can do that infinitely with it doesn't matter how many colors whatever your color scheme is for your store boom that just happened that fast you feel what i'm saying so this is easily 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 changeable and editable okay so yeah i just wanted to show you guys how quick that was um and again hopefully you found this video helpful and i will catch you in the next one bye